This is a weird one because have you ever seen this kind of square graph before? What is that? Hmm. A 100 ohms redis resistor conduct a current with changing direction. Huh? What is this? Well, technically we're going to learn more of changing direction in A2. This is what we call AC circuits. Alternating current. That's what your house supply usually uses. Huh? But basically, what does a negative current mean? If you have a circuit, like, uh, let's say you have a circuit connect to a power supply, connect to a resistor. It could be something like this. When it's current positive, it's flowing like that, clockwise. Then, suddenly when current negative, then it flows anti-clockwise. So each time it will go clockwise, anti-clockwise, clockwise, anti-clockwise. Anti Every one millisecond, it changes direction. That's just what I mean, that's what negative means. Okay, so how are we going to find the main po mean power here? Mean also means average, by the way. How to find the average power? Le? Here's a trick you want to keep in mind when you see alternating graphs like this. You want to find the mean power, you need to find each section uh, separately. So we're like, uh, what does that mean? Okay, mm. when its current is 2 amps here, what is the power dissipated? Well, here the thing of power is, oh, we have i, we have r, i square r. So 2 square times 100, that is 400, I think. Yep, 400. So when it's here, that's 400 watt. Okay. And then when the current is negative 1, huh? then the power you dissipate here will be negative 1. Actually, the negative going to put inside there one It's just FYI. So here will be also 100 ohms. That will just be 100, one, 100 watts. Yeah, I should write 400 watts. So 100 watts. So if you want to find the mean, what you could do is you take the average of both power when it's in the highest positive and lowest negative. So here... You take average power, that will be 400 plus 100, divided by 2. 400 plus 100, divided by 2, 250. Lo. So here you can say 250 is the mean power when it is switching up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. But it will, um, it will hover around 250. Okay, the, the middle is somewhere at 250 watts in this case. Yeah, this is a weird question. You're like, huh, why suddenly got a graph like this one? Just FYI, if you see a graph like this, uh, current against current against time, and then there's asking you for mean power, this is how you can navigate weird questions like this.